to the to the code. They will say you got to transfer the person to to to, to fish town. One thing that we we stay working on, we just ask one ask the government, how can somebody who wants to jail or can somebody who put the person guilty, then you are winning the case and you be all the sponsor the person to go to jail. So that always a bit of imagination. Why go make a fine? You have to go out, so they do transport prisoners to and fro. Or you will carry your case, or you win win a case, then you will transfer the person to the prison compound. That's a problem. So they are calling on people to actually come to the rescue of the, the prison compound to our brothers and sisters. But the criminal now are getting very, very high. But Lord, uh, this morning, I think uh, we were on the radio this morning. Uh, Maryland County former player uh, in need of help. As he said it, that he needed help, uh, injury since 2016. And what was there, another side incident. Uh, somebody just hanging herself this mm. morning. Uh, that's it. But Maryland is good. It is split the gateway to the economy of Maryland County because I see a lot of businesses uh, here. Yeah, uh, Plibo is the gateway. Plibo is a, the resource, uh, we say, for the southeast. As you understand that almost all the trucks that come from Aricos, all stuff right in Plibo, you will come from Grand GF, from Rubber G, from Sano, from Grand Crew, will come right here, even from Morovia, to come here to come back. So Plivo is uh, growing on a daily basis, the commercial activities, and Plivo have now we have three concessions in Plivo. The, the Maryland Oil Palm Plantation, the CRC, and that of the Golden Safeca, uh, where you understand that they, they, they are building the biggest uh, factory oil may in West Africa that uh, will be grinding per hour about 90 ton of oil. So it's one of the biggest, and the people, what they are doing, what we got from the Golden Safe Guys, that they are empowering local farmers to plant palm. Because the palm they have with GVL, uh, is, it, it, it can make it very small. So at the end of the day, they will not meet a target per hour. So they are encouraging farmers. So people now are making farm, 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 and other things. So it just boosts the economy, that's all. Anything that uh, you may encourage. Liberians around the world to come and visit Plibo to see the beauty of Plibo, the hospitality of uh, the people of Plibo, and the, the natural wave of the Atlantic Ocean uh, that is coming uh, from. Th thank you, uh, Harper, Harper. That, all the way I, I to believe Plibo. that we'll be going to Harper too. Uh, you know, uh, you from Grand Chile, uh, you don't feel the, the breeze on the, the ocean. Uh, that is natural. That I will carry there, so at least the breeze can touch you. We are over a year now, or a month, they haven't sit on the beach yet. Uh, you go and see it. But Plibo is growing gradually. Uh, I think I told you another community called New Plibo. Uh, the people of Plibo, the young people are developing the community. Like you know Harper, the New Harper, the end of Carlo King. And as time goes by, things improving in Maryland. I want to say thank you to the government. Uh, they are doing a discriminatory well, law from here to face time. Uh, you can wear anything they're wearing. Uh, you not not to attach you you may be the quota so things is growing up gradually we want to say thanks to the government they are doing discriminatory ritualistic killing in maryland county have been something that uh, people consider as a old age problem where mysteriously people died and the incident that had to do with the death uh with the, with the alleged and the killing of one of the sons that caused the burn down of the police station, the palace of correction, even the house speaker, uh, own resident. What can you say to Liberians, to citizens, the people uh, listening to you as a son of Maryland County, making sure that yes, it be, uh, people should be hearing good news about Liberia and not just Liberia, but about Maryland? Well, uh, that's an old age thing. It comes to the issue with Rachel, it's an old age thing. And since the death of that mobitious, we haven't yet seen it probably like that yet. But it's always a problem. The only thing we call it on our brothers and sisters who one or other either have it maybe because of power, because of money, they do that. We encourage them to say stop. And one of the things that we see is the issue with the delay in government investigation. That's the major problem we are looking at here. Uh, it happened in Morovia where one well, of two, three, four occasions over the last month. And the government, uh, the security sector, I sometimes delay. Because if 
They set in precedent on perpetrators who believe that they will stop. But they delay, delay. Just imagine, see nothing happen. Uh, you know, nobody else, no, they aren't from here. Uh, the sort of judge, uh, the, 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 the perpetrator, the alleged perpetrator uh, uh, guy, but they postponed it. So you found out that people just about, you can do anything like you and you go, you know, you go free. So we're calling on the government to stop this quickly and to see whether the government can be doing speedy investigation. I think it'll be better for us. Thank you, uh, Comrade. Thank you, bro. His name is Johnny Nambwe. As you can see, uh, these are the paved streets. People are on the sidewalk. Uh, as you can see, weathering area where perhaps you see one of the uh, beautiful doors that have been designed for houses, the wedding shop are here. People are doing their businesses in Plibo, Maryland County. And uh, Plibo is one of the places to be. Uh, Plibo is one of the areas to visit. If you uh, come to Liberia, uh, the information of ritualistic killing and all of this stuff, you just listen to our brother. And that's one of the major problems that it faces with in Maryland County. But how be it, I can tell you safely that this place is an area to be. Plibo is a county, uh, it's a city that full of realization. Plibo has businesses that are well equipped, equipped. As I speak to you, gasoline right now is sold for $880 as compared to Grand Gita that is sold for $1,100. A business open in the evening, in the day, in the night, 24-6 scoring electricity is all over. See another business area called Quinch Link uh, Bar and Restaurant. And as you can see, people come here after work, come, relax themselves, enjoy the cool breeze, and you know, amuse themselves. Another business area is also attached to this one uh, called the New Down Enterprise Incorporated. And you, know, and you just come, you relax yourself, enjoy the cool breeze, and you know, ease your stress, especially during weekends. You see one of the business center? Yeah. A very relaxed area where people come, enjoy themselves, have a fun, play it. And it is very much remarkable. Liberia is a place of hospitality, and Plibo is of no exception. Many thanks for following. My name is Lord Farley, and this is all I have time for. Don't forget, subscribe to Liberian TV Network. And you enjoy and, and Lord, the Lord, best quality like that to, we uh, all have take to offer. A scope to one of uh, the beautiful uh, rest stop okay. in Berlin. Uh, the rest stop uh, I haven't seen it yet in no part of or part of Liberia. Okay. Uh, a rest stop where used uh, flush. Yeah, thing is back there. Okay. Uh, was built by the Marylanders in the U.S. Okay. In the Nankow. Uh, they build a very nice restaurant. You go there, you relax yourself, uh, food, drinks, you know, like if you tire, like in the afternoon time, you go there, you just take a stop, okay. rest, uh, you want to eat yourself, you just put in a lot of LG. Yeah, it's very nice. It's very As very you can nice. see there, the next time you see our video, we'll be around there. Thanks for watching. Love Fale is my name.